Hey guys, it's Lance here. Welcome to my channel. Uh, this week on our Friday evening with friends fluid art video train, we had a theme of just abstract art and exploring different ways to do that kind of beyond acrylic pouring. Uh, so we we're all going to explore different techniques um, for abstract art to kind of push ourselves a little bit to do things that are a little bit out of the norm. Um, and as you can see here, I actually am using some of my fluid paint that I had left over to be my base coat. And it was a little bit much as far as it being a little too liquidy. So I did cover the canvas and kind of move it around a little bit. And then I use my squeegee to kind of move the paint around and scoop it off and eventually you'll see I kind of scoop some of it off into a cup um, just to get I wanted a base coat but I didn't want it to be too wet and so I had to get some paint off just so that it wouldn't be too wet so anyways our Friday evening with friends fluid art video train is it's always kicked off with Tiffany Romine at 6 45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and then myself at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and then I'm followed by Cynthia Porter Studio at 7 15 p.m. and she is followed by It's Art by Donna M at 7 30 p.m. and our caboose now is Nate Bright Art and he will be at 7 45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time so please check everybody's videos out I know it's going to be very interesting. I'm kind of excited to see how everybody tr tries to interpret doing abstract art and tries to push themselves to do different types of abstract art other than fluid acrylic pouring. I'm going to explain to you a little bit about what I'm trying to do here. Um, I actually got my inspiration from an artist who is an Australian artist, Claire Bremner, and I loved her abstract landscapes. She does some really, really cool and beautiful abstract landscapes. And so here what I'm trying to do is create a sense of movement with my white paint and my brush and kind of making it wispy and more circular, almost giving the, the idea of well what I want this to end up being is a background and I want it to have kind of a wispy feeling of almost like the wind blowing through trees and my idea is to create sort of like a forest scene like a um, like you're looking into um, a forest maybe at night by like even maybe by moonlight and so I wanted to create you know that kind of moody feel and so that sweeping sense of the white back there is creating that um, kind of uh, atmospheric quality that I wanted to get and as we can see there I used the blue that I brought in the dark deep kind of indigo blue and I used my spray bottle to create drips and now create the idea of the tree trunks and I'm using some of my green to create some different layers of feeling like there's foliage and trees and uh, you know kind of giving you a sense of depth and but yeah I'm using this drip technique to create the trunks of my trees and my forests and so that's kind of what you see me doing and uh, I'm using different types of brushes I've used my squeegee I've used different types of brushes. I'm using the spray bottle to create the drips that I need um, to create my forest of trees. And I'm going to use a sea sponge and that's going to be used a little bit later, you'll see. And so that was kind of my idea. I was trying to use lots of different tools that I don't normally use and obviously not in fluid acrylic pouring unless I'm doing some embellishments or something and some brush work and you know, just trying to create um, composition and uh, make something beautiful and abstract that is not the normal thing that I would do for, for acrylic pouring.
If you're liking this video and finding it entertaining and informative, please go ahead and hit that like button, give me the thumbs up, and when you do, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you'll be alerted when I upload new videos, and leave me a comment because I love to hear from you. Now, as you can see, I am now using my brush, a very small brush with some of the deeper indigo paint, and I actually have some white on my brush as well, and I'm working into the foliage of the tree to kind of give the sense of the branches coming off the main trunk, and uh, just trying to give that little bit of indication of the shape of those branches. And I really love how I may try to close up here and show you there are areas where the drips are now giving dendrites, which I really find very cool and interesting for the shapes of these trees. I really kind of like that. And um, I may do some more embellishing to this piece once it dries. And so if I do that, I'll probably show that on another video. Maybe I'll do like a, a twofer <laughs> um, and show what I do additionally. And as you can see here, I start using my sponge, my sea sponge, and I go back and forth from using that to using the brush just to kind of give a sense of foreground, a sense of like more bushes or foliage in the foreground and uh, kind of ground the whole piece um, by giving that sense of a foreground for the trees to rest on. I'm also now going to be working in, as you see, I'm, I'm still using my sponge on the foreground, but I'm also going to use my white paint and some of my lighter blue paint in just a second in the upper portions of the painting to give you a sense of sky peeking through like some negative space of sky uh, beyond the foliage just to give you a sense of you know what is beyond the trees Make you feel like you're safe Cause all I need is just some Someone like you Someone like you Well, 
I hope you've enjoyed uh, this video and this theme where we're doing abstract art and exploring other avenues of abstract art or other than acrylic pouring. I've really had a great time doing this piece. Uh, it was very free and fun and I love kind of the shapes and things that the spraying has created and then also using the soft brush with blending and then of course kind of highlighting these drips to create the trunks of the trees and using sponge to kind of help give foliage and give a sense of uh, depth and uh, it really is a fun thing to do I would urge anyone anybody to like try this kind of technique it's very fun um, it's not really uh, I, don't, I don't feel like it's really all that difficult I think as you go along and when you do the drips kind of the paint sort of dictates what it wants to be and I think that's kind of really exciting and really fun uh, to see how things develop as you progress and as you work um, the brushes and the paint um, so I hope that you've really enjoyed this and remember up after me this evening is Cynthia Porter studio and she is at 7 15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and like I said I, I hope you've enjoyed this I've really had a lot of fun with you I so appreciate our time together and I can't wait until I see you again for some more fun pouring together.